my task today is to see whether I can get myself drunk, or at least over the drink drive limit, simply by eating things. I'm not allowed to drink any alcohol, I can only eat the foods that are in front of me on the table. Um, I've got a breathalyzer here, so I'm going to test myself before I start, I'm going to test myself after each course, and we're going to see if I can get to the magic number of 0.8% blood alcohol level. The first thing I'm going to eat is this dish, it's a flambéed chorizo, I flambéed the chorizo in rum. Um, I'm going to put that to one side for a second and get eating this, but first of all I have to breathalyze myself. So I've got a small amount of alcohol in my blood already, it must have been from making that sherry trifle earlier, which I must admit I tried a little bit of. Right, let's give it a blast. So, um, believe it or not, I'm already over the drink drive limit, uh, simply by eating that flambe chorizo. For my main course, I've got a Portuguese fish stew. There's 180 mils of white wine in there. It was cooked, uh, covered for half an hour. And again, you might say, well, surely there's none of the alcohol left, but you know, again, it's a bit of a myth that the alcohol is burned off. Some is burned off, but this would have about a 30% retention of uh, alcohol. Here we go. Okay, that was really good. I've eaten most of the fish, uh, most of the liquid, which I guess is where the wine is. Uh, and now I'm gonna breathalyze myself again and see what's happened. So I'm actually 1.3, I've gone down a little bit, but even so, again, if I got into a car and drove and was breathalyzed, having eaten that and that, I would comprehensively fail and probably be banned from driving. Now on to course number three. Um, I made this trifle this morning. It's a traditional sherry trifle, um, but with a bit of a twist. It's got a syllabub topping. So syllabub is essentially um, fresh cream mixed with alcohol. I think it's probably give me about seven to eight millilitres of alcohol. So here we go. And now I reckon all told I should have eaten about 25 to 30 millilitres of alcohol which is more than enough to get me over the drink drive limit. I'm already over the drink drive limit but we'll try again and see how we go. So I'm back to being high, which is too high for the uh, monitor to read. It means that I'm way over the drink drive limit. Again, if I ate that trifle on its own, I probably would be over the drink drive limit. But if I got in a car and drove now and was breathalyzed, I'd be for the high jump. So I've eaten everything. I'm really full, um, but in a good way. I do feel a bit whizzy in the head, like I've had too much to drink. Um, I'm over the drink drive limit, so I've done it. I've proved it. You can eat yourself drunk.